What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel 13 Junkies. You know who it is, Chris. And on today's adventure. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. My beard looks half white. That's crazy. We are headed to the Freight of Harbors, the Harbors of Freight, the tools of tools, the tools of masters, the, the master blaster tool people that are super cheap and you can buy 20 for the price of one name brand tool here and keep bringing them back most of the time so yeah <laughs> yeah crazy we are at the freight of harbors harbors of freights yeah we're gonna go in here to the freight of harbors and um we got to get an arbor press and that ain't that crazy we're at uh oh, here let me turn this thing off it's kind of loud yeah we're at harbor freight to get an arbor press because on today's video, what I plan on doing is the Trunnion upgrade for Space Ghost. And the videos that I've watched, a lot of people use just a regular standard bench vise. Well, I can't currently get to the bench vise to be able to use it. And it's a little bit harder. It's easier to use an arbor press. So I'm here and we're going to grab one. So see what's going on. Ooh. Arbor press. Take this purchase item, please take one ticket to a sales associate. This is the one I want right here. Look at this Johnny right here. Five and a half max working distance. Eight inch with slatted plate. This guy. This is the one I need right here. 59,766. I have this. Wait, no, it's not this one. It's this one. 20 ton. 250 bucks, got it for free. So, I don't even have one on this way. Wait, yeah, I do. Here it is. This one. This is the Johnny right here. That's the Johnny I'm gonna get right here. Boop. Yeah, buddy. So we're gonna get with these fine people and get what I need and get to the shop space, get to work. All right, so the Johnny is acquired. Got that bad boy. It was uh, $75.76 with tax. They said they only had two on hand. One was a display model, so I got the last one. Thank God I got my ass here to get it. Oh yeah, went down to the shop today. Um, today's Saturday. I was off scrapping until 5 o'clock in the morning. Did a bunch of scrapping. Made a bunch of money today. Um, I'm going to go buy a ladder for work. A 6 foot ladder. Um, with some of the money I made. But uh, I was down at the shop getting some scrap. Bullshit with Adam. And um, here soon. Uh, in about a week or so. I got one more week of work and then I have a week off. So we got some F41 content coming soon. Um, be going down to the shop and getting that taken care of after I get some stuff at home taken care of. And then, um, yeah, but shout out to Adam. He gave me this uh, Milwaukee brushless M18 quarter inch impact driver. Because he only has one thing that's Milwaukee. Everything else he has is Bauer and other brands. So. He gave me this. <coughs> today. So shout out Adam for that. And uh, we're going to head to the shop space and get this thing done. Get this Trunnion upgrade done on uh, Space Ghost's Trunnions. So we can start reassembling the rest of the heads. And then uh, move on to. Uh, I got to get a pulley puller. Pull the harmonic balancer off of it. Um, drop the oil pan. Change the dipstick tube. Um, the pickup tube. The oil pan. Front and rear covers. Uh, we got to install the cam. All that good stuff. So we got a lot coming. So see you in a minute, guys. All right, guys. So I'm in the shop. It's been a couple hours. I had to deal with uh, a couple issues. Um, was selling some stuff to somebody, which. Oh, sorry. Yeah, hey, it's been like three hours. I had to uh, clean up some stuff, organize some stuff out here, which it doesn't look like it, but I did. And to make room, 
and to be able to set up everything so as you can see we'll be doing the trending upgrade the comp cams kit number 13702-kit um, the retrofit kit um, at the time I bought these like seven years ago something like that and um plot with the plans to build an LS and um I don't even know if Brian Tilly Racing had his out yet, but there's a comparison of this kit to the Brian Tooley kit. And he was talking on, Brian Tooley was talking about like the snap rings being like not as thick and that they can break. And the he just basically said, my competitors. Um, these are like the socket head screws, the Allen head screws that will replace your stock ones. like this so um he was saying you know that they use uh, a 12 point almost like an ARP screw as opposed to these and that they also use a stiffer thicker um, snap ring but the plan is we're gonna we're gonna do this uh, this um, trending upgrade and as you can see I have all of my rockers here I have one missing and yes here I actually did just to see as you can tell there's a center section of it and there's all the bearings everywhere um, because I was supposed to use a 22 and a 13, I couldn't find a 22, so I grabbed the 7 eighths and the 13, and I just wanted to see if it was going to work properly. Um, so I did do one, and um, yeah, show you guys uh, what I did here. So I got our Arbor Press, the 110, or one ton, 110, uh, one ton Arbor Press, and literally. I mean, it's pretty simplistic. Um, I'll try to turn this to where it doesn't fall off the table and I can still do this. But you basically put your 7 8 here, put that back up like that, grab one of your rockers like so, and on here you have this side that has the wings and then you have this side that has the bigger flat pieces the flat pieces on the sides like that go down so you want those on the socket side like this on the, the big socket on the bottom then you take your 13 center it up on the top you bring your arbor down and and you just Press, press it in, press it down, and I don't have this bolt down, but just push it, and it'll pop. Let's see here. Let's get this re-centered. Just like that. And the one thing I like about this one is, like, this time it didn't pop apart and shatter everywhere, but... It'll pop out, and then you'll have one cap here that the bearings are in. The other cap pops out loose like so, which is needle bearings everywhere here. And it's funny because they say that, you know, the needle bearing ones, you should use the bronze bushing ones, but the bronze bushing ones supposedly aren't. Um, all that great for street driving. The needle bearing ones are more friendly for street driving from what I hear. So then you, you end up with this. That's what you end up with here. And you just throw it to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and pound all these out. Um, get them all ready for the next phase. And then, uh, yeah, so right about now would be throw a time lapse in so I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these bolts out because we're not using them anyways throw them to the side because they're all gonna be scrapped all this needle bearings and all this crap is gonna be scrapped and what I'm gonna do is I have 
this is kind of cool this box came with in here with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that there and I'll just throw all of them in there so go ahead like that that portion's done and this is a whole bunch of scrap that's got to go in the junk junk so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen I just want to make sure they were all there and what I plan on doing is um we got an ultrasonic cleaner so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually soak these overnight and um, purple power and then hit it with some heat in the ultrasonic cleaner and um, then we'll, I'll get back with you and we'll uh, get this all done and go to the next step in the process so we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. It's the next day, and I uh, got all of the rockers here cleaned up. Um, left them in this. It's an ultrasonic. It's really old. It just has the heat. It doesn't say how much hot it gets, and whatever. And I left them in for about two and a half, three hours with some uh, Purple Power and some Zep 505 mixed together, and they came out like this came out like brand new all of them are super clean once I pulled them out of there I shoved them into the parts washer right there for a quick rinse and these rails were extremely extremely uh like stained brown like one of them I got really clean just in the parts washer because they're so big they wouldn't fit in here because they still only a quarter of them go in but I I washed them in the parts washer I think it was this one that didn't get like the best See, it's still got some browning on it, but I stuck it down in there just now and let it sit for a minute and then took just a regular acid brush uh, and went over it and all that stuff came off. So if you don't have one of these or if you have a bigger one where you can actually put your parts in it and let them soak, absolutely amazing. Zep 505. Yeah, Zep 505 and Purple Power. It's right there on the shelf. I'm telling you that stuff mixed together will will take the grease off. It doesn't really destroy anything. So we're gonna get back to uh, doing this good stuff, getting the uh, the new bearings pressed in on the, on the trunnions. So right here in the comp trunnion kit, we have the washers. They, there's one here. Well, there's two of them. One for the top and one for the bottom. And then obviously you have your, your bag of your centers for the rollers. For your, and it's got the grooves on each side for your snap rings right here and right here. As you can tell, they've been sitting for a little bit, but they're still oiled up. Got our snap rings. We got our other bag of our other eight, I believe. Which is probably what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's eight and eight. So we have all of our bearings and from what I seen was is it doesn't matter which side you use um, basically you put it in here like this um, you're supposed to take um, The bearings have a number stamped on them on one side and nothing on the other. So what you do is you take the number side. The number side is always supposed to be out. So what you do is you take the number side and you take washer so that it pushes it in evenly. And this is all the washer is provided. Set that up on there. Nice. 
what they did say I do believe is the one with the ears or what they call the wings you want to put that the side down because this one's more rounded and it moves around a lot more like this it actually stays flat it doesn't wobble too much but on this side it tends to wobble more it doesn't stay as even but it doesn't matter really um, you could use either one so put that on there like that put your washer on the top of it and then you just press the one side in I want to grab it there because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Press it all the way down, like so. And then just for good measure, do it again. Give it a little oomph. Make sure it's all the way down. And then what you're supposed to do is you take one of your rollers, you put it in, through, then the center spins, so it doesn't matter where that hole is. Obviously, most people know that. And then what you do is you put the washer on the bottom so it holds holds your the center piece in place. Then you take another roller bearing, same concept, number side facing up. You want to be able to read that number. You slide that down over it, like so. And you take your other washer. Just double checking something. Yeah, then you take your other washer. It has to be perfectly centered with the hole on the, the bearing. Bring it down like you normally would. Press it. All the way down until it stops. The problem that I have is it seems like it's not um, going down all the way like it should. Maybe I just need to give it some more force. And the bad part is, is the way the handle is, it's not the greatest for me to... There we go. I got it. And then you just give it a little bit more. Flip it back up. Pull your washer off. Pull it off your other washer. And then you got your grooves like that are loose. Ready to go in. Then what you do is... I mean, I'm going to do all the pressing in and then I'll do all the snap rings at, uh, at one time. But just for sake of the video, I'll go ahead and attempt, because I'm not the greatest at installing these snap rings. And I got these super ancient snap ring pliers from like way back in the day. And hopefully they work. <laughs> because I don't know if they will or they won't. I mean, these things have been around forever. Obviously, you can tell by the white of the uh, the the white of the plastic. They've been around for a very long time. So I'm hoping. Yeah, they're like stuck in the plastic. They've been around so long. Um, Brother-in-law has always used. Um, he always played with RC cars. And it looks like the head of this one is not small enough. Um, so I gotta check and see if these are all the same exact size or if I have a, if one of these pairs will actually work. Oops, just dropped my other different head on the floor these seem like they're a lot smaller than what I have what my snap ring plier tool is yeah this one seems bigger Let's check these other ones I hope they're different sizes hope they're not all just the same size and they are um because yeah they're uh It's like the hole is just a hair too small for these ones. So I might have to look around the shop and see if we have uh, 
another set of snap ring pliers that are smaller to be able to do this. So for right now, I guess, I'm gonna put these two snap rings back in here so I don't lose them. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna knock out all the rest of these just to make it easier. And the one thing that I have learned with these um, comp cam boxes, which is really cool, is you can take, even though it's taped together, you can take, and if you set it up nice enough, you can, you can take your, your box and set it up as a tray like you put all of your what what you need and what you're using right away you can take and just like i did that box over there you can take all your parts and we're not like we're not going to use these right now so those can get set to the side and they can actually stay here this is a brand new bag so we'll put that there and then i'll dump these ones out right here like so so they're ready to go and then i can literally just grab the next one Put it here down, grab a bearing, grab a washer, press it in, flip it over, drop in the, the one, and there's little needle bearings all over the table from the old ones. Grab the new one. Or the second bearing, put it on the top, make sure it's centered, put it on there, make sure it's centered on the bottom one, and press it. My washer moved a little bit so it stopped, so I need to grab it again, double check it, press it, stopped, pull it out, check it, and one thing you want to check is you always want to check them make sure that they rotate so then yeah i'm just gonna hurry up and i'm gonna knock all these out i'm gonna put them wing, wing side down There we go, look at that. All 16 of them are done. I just gotta find me some snap ring pliers that are the right size. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Look at that. All done. We got our bolts. We got our snap rings. We got all our stuff right here. So, uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna try to find some more snap ring pliers, and then I'll finish this up. All right, guys. So I looked around. I couldn't find any snap on her snap ring pliers. But what I did find will work. It might take me a little bit longer, unfortunately. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't feel like lurking, looking anymore. I've got stuff I gotta do and um, I gotta get this done. So check this out. These little like cutters, they're, they're model shears for trimming out model parts out of, out of the thing. I used those and I actually got the snap ring on. Um, it is kind of a pain. You gotta push down on it with your thumb at the bottom, and then you shove them in each slot. Push down hard, kind of get it to slide. And then usually, once you get one side on, the other side will go on pretty easily. Normally, like once you get one side on, you can walk the other side down. If you if you get the one side to snap, the other side will 
snap down. Come on. Did it so easily off camera. There we go. Got it to pop on there. It's just barely on. I mean, got to persuade it. Push it, but you gotta be careful the other side doesn't pop up and then the whole thing will pop off on you. So you just push down on it. Or you try to loosen it, but I just push down on it with my fingers and then use those and make sure it's snapped all the way around it is there we go I just gotta do this to the other 15 <laughs> but adversity man makes you stronger what is, what's the saying whatever won't kill you make you stronger so I've been through using tools that you're not are not meant for that job many a times in my life and I've made them work. So. I mean, could I run to Harbor Freight? And probably buy a set for $3. Probably. Do I have $3? Maybe. Probably not. But. The only thing about these is you got to be careful that you don't cut yourself. And make sure that they get... You know they're seated all the way down because I did just nick my finger barely didn't do anything but yeah push down on the one side shove it in the other two push down really hard with your thumb that's holding the bottom and then push in on the top as you're spreading it apart And then it'll snap. I got that side to drop, got that side to drop, and it's in there. That's two. But yeah, this is gonna be a minute. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I don't have the tools that I need for the job. But I'll make it work. Where there's a will, there is a way. The thing is too, is if you get one side on, and you can push it down, you can normally walk it. So you go to the part where it's down a little bit, and you can push down on it. And it'll drop, and then you keep going around, and then it'll just snap right on there. And I did a comparison, like I said, on the Brian Tilly Racing ones, and they said that, you know, they use the, um, like, ARP-style 12-point 12, 12 head socket bolts to hold the rockers on, as opposed to the Allens, like this, because they could get stripped out. Um, and that they use a heavier-duty um, snap ring that isn't as prone to failing like their competitor and I believe not totally sure but I believe that they're they're talking about comp cams but I've never so far messing with these I've never heard anything bad about the comp trunnion upgrade kit um, some guys that are running high horsepower engines yes they complain because of the fact that um, they say that, you know, there's issues with higher RPMs, you know, they tend to fail. The snap ring will shatter under pressure and then it sends all these needle bearings through your engine and it's literally like little, I mean it is physically, little metal shards. 
little roller bearings for your whole engine so it destroys your engine completely and then you have to start all the way over um but you shouldn't be revving to seven eight nine thousand rpm on the street i mean if you're running like that on the street then you need to just put the bearing the bronze bearing rollers in and run it at the track because man, seven thousand rpm eight nine ten thousand rpm on the street is you're pushing stuff that you shouldn't be pushing to a level on an area that is supposed to be reliable to drive not you know beat on it like that like constantly for that amount of time so let's see once i get down how many well, that one went on easy are left and as you can tell all of these are done these are the only two that are left and they give you the exact amount of snap rings nothing more nothing less they probably give you the exact amount of bolts so honestly that kind of that's kind of crappy you would think that they would give you you know extras just in case something were to happen because like right now if one of these were to accidentally shoot off and shoot across the room and i got all this stuff in here and i'm digging around and i can't find it then i gotta go and take one of the other ones with me and go to like harbor freight or go somewhere and try to find the exact same snap ring same size to be able to get it to work and finish what i'm working on come on you Oh, this one's being a pain but you know what you're almost down the lip so i'm gonna snap you in oh nope that said f you i am not going i don't want to go on there and i don't have to but i say you have to Have one part of it on try to walk it nope it says screw you again so i can tell either this one has more tensile strength than the rest maybe this one got has like superpowers i don't know there we go gotcha all right last one fellas and ladies whoever's watching this is the last one so i mean like i said i'm literally just pulling it down grabbing it here spreading it with my fingers it's hard to see but spreading it getting at least one side down and then walking it or snapping it on like that same thing on this one push down on this side sometimes I think I push it down too far to where it makes it harder but push down on that side keep it down at an angle stick them in there push hard spread them like I said even if you only get one side down like you get this side down like if I can get that one to snap down like that I can do is put pressure on it and walk it all the way around like that lock it and it'll snap in and that's it so there they are guys all done and everything's nice and pretty everything's good held together ready to go on the heads and like i said this is the comp cam trunnion upgrade kit 13702 kit ls style rocker retrofit retrofit kit this one was produced in 2016. so four years would be 20. 
and it's 24 now so that's this kit's eight years old i guess i bought it a lot longer than i thought or i got it from another guy and it was it was old but yeah so i mean that's what it is um like i said here's here's the stands they look amazing um this one looks really really good and this is the one that was more stained which still looks good i mean they're they're gonna get brown anyways because they're gonna be covered in oil but like i said big suggestion either get you a parts washer or get one of these electrolysis whatever the hell these things are called like electrolysis machines that make this you know buzzing noise and uses the electromagnetic waves and then this one like i said has heat which really breaks the stuff down this thing's ancient this thing's probably older than me i don't know probably from the 70s um and it works amazing surprisingly it was used for rc car parts but yeah we have the heads over here and i'm pretty sure these springs that we took out of the, pe the heads from the past they are the exact same as you can tell the heads are super clean these are the ones that had the port job done to them from previous um and uh I'm pretty sure these are the pack 660 springs i might post them up clean them up in the parts washer and post them up for sale um but yeah i'm gonna uh, end up putting those rockers on torque them to spec and get all that stuff done but for right now that's gonna do it for this one guys um so that was a video um upgrading your stock ls rockers to uh your training upgrade so you can run a high lift cam a big you know whoppity whoppity whoppy you know one of those you know sounds like two 10 year olds kicking a can down the street you know but uh yeah so we're gonna do it that's it for this one and i would highly suggest these used to be like 30 dollars. these arbor presses a whole lot better than using a standard your standard bench vice because the bench vice you have to do it horizontally and try to hold the washers and everything in there and some of the kits are more expensive and they actually have a like a form molded piece uh attachment that you put in the jaws of the vise and it, it'll hold the washers in and it holds everything in place it makes it easy but from my experience and everybody that i know that does budget builds and all the other youtubers that i watch that do it um it was a pain and it took them three times the amount of time that it took me with this arbor press this thing is it was 75 dollars with tax you guys seen it earlier in the video so uh central machinery um harbor freight just i know one ton arbor press and i'll do just like i do with all of our stuff that we have here you know everything is labeled and for the most part and put up and i'm going to put it back in the box um and uh put it on the shelf you know and when i need it next i'll use it so but that's gonna do it for this one guys like subscribe drop a comment down below and we will see you next time